I have a brand new Steam Deck case for you guys today. This is the 3-in-1 travel case by Mapatom or Meepatom, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. They're calling it 3-in-1 because you get this hard shell cover for the front of the deck. Then you obviously have the back piece and the third and final feature is that it has a kickstand. At first glance, you'll realize that this kickstand is pretty flimsy, but we'll get into that in just a second. We're going to get this set up on my Steam Deck and I'll show you how it looks and what I think of it as far as comfortability and its features and price and all of that. Once you got that back piece on, this is pretty much what it looks like. It does fit really well. It's pretty close to all of the edges. What I do like about this one is that they left plenty of room up top to hit all of your buttons. On the back side, they left holes here for the actual Steam Deck air vents. And then they have these other holes. I'm not sure what those are exactly doing, if they're doing anything at all. But the actual vents have a hole right here. And then you got these extra ones up here as well. Where you hold the Steam Deck from is actually very grippy. We got these grips on the sides here. They feel very nice. There's like a glossy part on it. I kind of would have wanted them to just go with the grip all the way down, but either way, it does feel very good in hand. The kickstand itself is pretty easy to pull up, but it does not stay up there. It just falls right back down. You're going to want to basically hold on to this while you're setting it up. And there you go. This is what it looks like once you have it propped up. Probably my least favorite thing about this, the kickstand's a little bit flimsy. Then we have the hard shell top part of the case. This is basically going to protect your Steam Deck if you're throwing it in a bag and you're putting it next to other things so it doesn't hurt the screen. And it even has uh, bigger cutouts for the thumbstick so that they don't get squished inward or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. And combining the hard top part of the case to the back of the case is pretty simple. You have a hinge up top here. And then on the bottom of the case, you also have two hinges, one here, one here. And then the hard top has places where you're going to basically line those up and put it on. You start with the top. So you would just put this up top here and then line up those hinges and squeeze down a bit and then it locks into place and there you go it's all closed up for anyone curious about whether or not this fits in the official steam deck carrying case this is basically how it looks when you're trying to do that i don't know if it's going to close all the way and i also don't know why you would want to do this but yeah you're going to have some trouble getting this in there so as far as using it with an additional case i would suggest that this is mainly to be used on its own without a carrying case but i'm pretty confident the front of the system will be okay just slipping this into a bag overall a pretty cool case obviously people are going to compare this to something like d brands project kill switch which features some of these same exact designs here um, it does have a kickstand and a hardcover but this is going to be probably half the price of that so this is a more budget friendly and i would say a kill switch alternative this also doesn't use any magnets i know that d brand is changing their case to not include any magnets as well but this one doesn't have any magnets and it pretty much does exactly what that case is doing. I'm sure there's some differences as far as build quality goes, but if you're trying to pay half the price of that, you can find this over on Amazon for $29.99. Not bad for something that's going to get the job done. Hopefully you guys found this informative. Check out the case for yourself. I will leave a link in the description. That's it for now. I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.